the other thing you mentioned right at the start was that um, you make use of data for the supply chain. And I have to say, obviously, you're dealing with a lot of physical goods and the logistics got to be pretty mind-boggling here. Um, yeah, can you talk me through how data and AI are used on the supply chain side? Yes, um, I think supply chain is one area where we are really uh, using AI and data in the best way possible to, uh, for a couple of use cases. Uh, to give an example, like, of course, inventory planning and management is an important one. And demand forecasting is a very important component. So how do we use different kinds of signals to kind of understand the internal and external factors to then uh, make plans on how, how our inventory should look like, where it should be placed, um, and and the entire supply chain that goes around, uh, you know, enabling that right from last mile to middle mile to first mile. So all that is definitely a place where data and you know how it flows uh, through uh, at an item level at a geographical level plays a very important role. Um, the other thing I would say is also on and I, uh, uh, where Walmart is playing a very important role is how we are helping um, to optimize uh, the supply chain um, uh, through uh, how we are packing our trailers, how we are using the most optimal route to get from place one to B, um, et cetera. And uh, actually Walmart just a uh, uh, few days back again launched a product called Load, Optimization, uh, Load Optimizer, which is basically a, a SaaS-based product, uh, which any business can use now to uh, optimize their middle mile um, for best route planning. So I think those are some of the use cases where Walmart is really doubling down to ensure, again, to have the right product at the right time, but then also do it in a way which is um, optimal uh, in terms of our supply chain strategies. That's really interesting. I, I suppose I was thinking of supply chains mostly being about like, well, how do you do warehouses, right? But actually just figuring out what order do you put the boxes in the truck in order to pack more of them in that's going to have a huge impact. So yes, uh, yes. yeah, lo lots of uh, subtleties there. And warehouse um, is also an important one. I mean, that's like, like I said, there are many different use cases where uh, everything is sort of part of the puzzle. Like everything needs to be done right uh, for to, to get the right experience for our customers. Okay. So if you've got lots of different components here, um, I imagine you've got like lots of different data sources all over the place in different parts of this. Um, does that, give you like a data integration challenge? Like how do you manage all the different steps of this together? Um, yes, uh, def definitely data is challenging. And I think working for international uh, business where we are not only uh, supporting one market, but many different markets, such as Canada and Mexico, um, there are challenges around, you know, uh, how data resides in different sources, how it's captured, how it's generated, and then how it's captured. Uh, but then uh, over time, we are building robust uh, uh, data lake strategies where we are able to bring uh, most of the data, if not all, into our uh, data lakes, and we are able to then build AI solutions on top of it. Now, this is all done in a very... Um, uh, a very scientific way uh, in, in terms of not just ensuring the data is the integrity of the data, but then how we follow all the, uh, uh, all the policies around data, how we keep it very transparent and explainable at all times.